National Coalition on Affirmative Action has called on the Nigerian police force to treat incidents of sexual and gender-based violence with utmost priority. Speaking at a press conference in Edo State, the group stated that the police, who are often accused of taking lightly cases of abuse involving married couples, should desist from such actions and treat all cases based on their merit. They have added that the awareness campaign against gender violence on women and girls' child has helped to educate more women on their rights as well as to reduce cases of sexual and gender-based violence. I've experienced that in most cases when issue of uh, domestic violence is taken to them, you know, probably it's out of sympathy or out of, uh, you know, this uh, gender of 18. They'll say go home and resolve your issues. But at the end of the day, they discover that the, 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 the violence continues. But if the police, they will treat um, gender-based violence as they treat other um, criminal cases, I think the, 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 the issue will be reduced. The, the violence against women is more pronounced than that of the men, because there are a lot of men out there whom their wife are really battering, that out of uh, shame, they can't come out to come and say it. That's why we, we don't usually hear such cases, but it doesn't mean that uh, it doesn't exist. It does exist. But the common one, known to everybody, is the violence against women. If we put an end to gender-based violence, the families will function better, the children will be healthier, and we'll have a better society. So it is not possible that um, women demanding for their rights will, um, be, will negatively impact the society or the family. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.